Okay, it's a beautiful uh, Monday morning, and I'm here with uh, Jeremy and Liliana. And uh, uh, where are you two from, by the way? We're both from we Houston. We live in Houston. Houston, okay. Uh, I remember I received a call uh, many years ago from, from uh, a patient down there who had a daughter, and uh, that was uh, one of the first times I came down, but that was in 1994, I came to Houston. Uh, but coming to Houston was actually life-changing for me. Uh, and uh, the reason why is because in 1994, I had the opportunity to meet a woman. She was 19 years old, and she was struggling with type 1 diabetes, and her father was very concerned about her and her, her lifestyle and diet. Uh, and uh, maybe this can gateway into some of the things that you've experienced, Liliana. And then also we want to talk to Jer uh, Jeremy about his experience uh, uh, dealing with, uh, I, I guess, the symptoms that you had were, were what, a high fever, uh, cough, uh, low energy, uh, and we can get into that a little bit. But anyway, that was, that was the year that I had witnessed under the microscope uh, biological transformation in that a red blood cell literally evolved into a bacterium, and I'd never seen that before. That happened in, in Houston. I actually recorded it. And from that, uh, uh, I was on the path of trying to understand why body cells or blood cells actually transform into bacteria. And I learned of Antoine Béchamp's work in 1996. And from there, I went to France uh, and literally went uh, in the, into the medical library there at the University of Paris. And was quite interesting, but it, it's actually, you know, now some, you know, 25, 30 years later, uh, you know, I've had so many different experiences, and yet this unique experience that many people are going through uh, with this pandemic uh, and experiencing the symptoms seem much like uh, the flu symptoms. But uh, Jeremy, maybe you could just kind of introduce yourself and Liliana also yeah yeah I, I must say that uh, you're a young ma mother of how many I mean you look great <laughs> thank you thank you uh, my son is 24 and uh, our, our daughter is uh, 22 yeah uh, we uh, so she's not able to join us but uh, I'm a very happy mom and wife so well, that's good. Very proud of my two kids. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, I've, I've often said that uh, the saying is, is having children is like having your heart running out around outside your body. So it's uh, a mother's love is, uh, uh, is really, for us guys, I mean, how do we actually comprehend that? But that, that's a, a, a way, that metaphor is a way to, to, to understand it. But anyway, uh, your son has agreed to just talk to us a little bit about uh, uh, his symptomology and what he experienced. And apparently you were, you were tested. I don't know what the test was. Was it an RT-PCR test? It was a rapid test. A rapid test? Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, they tested you for uh, the novel, uh, the actual uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, was that the reason? I mean, what was your reason for doing the test? Uh, well, I was just feeling symptoms of um, typical cold, maybe allergy, um, a bit of a fever, and I was just like, okay, well, we're in the middle of a pandemic, might as well we get tested, also working, uh, so I didn't want anybody else to get infected, and so I had to um, take the approach of caution, so I just decided to go get tested, and um, within a couple hours, I could get back positive. And so then I had to isolate my room. This actually this very room actually for about two weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, I first uh, three, two, two to three days, uh, the symptoms got worse. Um, the fever got increased high around um, 103. Uh, headaches, um, dry cough, sore throat, uh, loss of energy, um, mm -hmm. and 
ironically some strange neck pain too like my pain there's like pain in my neck but it, it wasn't like your typical soreness it was sort of a mental uh pain um i i, I was I, I wouldn't i would try to like use like a something to like you know press put pre pressure on it yeah, and okay. it would it would it wouldn't work wouldn't help i would try to sleep um with like a straight posture either uh it was just constant pain throughout the night and i mm -hmm. not the first two days uh, that was what, what i was dealing with so did you did you talk to your mother about it or yeah uh i did uh I spoke to my parents immediately right after mm -hmm. and they decided that yeah it'd be best if i isolate for 14 days um mom she decided to see hey maybe we could, we could try the juice cleanse uh for uh, for six days or so and so um yeah she decided to just bring a bunch of juices every single day from our juice place that we used to go to uh and i would drink uh around six juices each day um along with water uh no no solids no other liquids just um green juices mm -hmm. uh, what what was in the green juice uh kale uh parsley um turmeric beet juice um they're all a different performance of juices mm -hmm. uh one was the one was the, one of the most like green juices like it just was strictly green along with uh lime and uh ginger okay. uh, kale parsley uh um, collard greens spinach um yeah and then of course your uh your lime and ginger and then uh, there was one that had turmeric uh coconut water uh, ginger and lemon mm -hmm. and cayenne pepper uh yeah and i would drink those for the, the, uh the, after my after, the, after two days after my diagnosis i started doing the juices and uh, i would do that for the next four days um and then after the first two days my symptoms went completely away uh they were they were gone so were you doing were you doing anything else other than the juicing no nothing uh i, I wasn't eating anything um maybe some soups here and there after after the first couple of days but the first the first two days it was just cold turkey i would just drink juices and and, and um, not, not nothing else i wouldn't go out i wouldn't mm -hmm. i would leave my room um i was sort of uh, you know, in isolation, quarantine, um, with my. <laughs> okay, so right now, how are you feeling? Good. I Good. Feel fine. Yeah. So you 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 you're outside now, or you're out of isolation? Well, yeah. I mean, I, the, uh, I had COVID. I, I tested positive uh, in mid-August. Mid-August. So I see. Now November, uh, but I would say. Right after four days of diagnosis, I felt fine. Uh, I felt great, actually. Mm -hmm. I had to stay in isolation for the fear of ha, maybe asymptomatic and, and, um, uh, and infecting other people without knowing. But um, I, after, after my uh, quarantine, I did start to feel a loss of smell, uh, as well as fatigue, like exhaustion. Mm -hmm. um for some reason like the lingering symptoms i was i was negative i i, I tested a triple negative three uh three times that was after, after that was after the juice how 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 much uh time after i mean how many days after uh, was that after your quarantine for 14 days you went back to be tested yes mm -hmm. um i think i think day 12 i went ahead and got tested negative and then uh, went again in day 14, got tested negative. And then uh, two days later, went in day 16, tested negative. Tested negative. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to see anyone really for, the, for after, after two weeks. Uh, I actually went to my, my mom's house, my parents' house to um, mm -hmm. I have like a small, small little sauna. And I went to go see if I could clear my sinuses there, but they maybe come out through the back door, like the backyard with a mask on. <laughs> they wouldn't let me through the house okay. uh, 
sit in their sauna for I mean I, for 30 minutes and then after that they gave me dinner outside um so I, I like ate by myself socially distant so uh but then after my third negative um I I'm like okay yeah I'm sure that I, I, I don't have it but strangely enough um I started losing a sense of taste and smell as well as exhaustion for the next week or so after uh three times Okay, and did that uh, did that uh, come back uh, eventually? Uh, the other symptoms? No, yeah. no. I, um, after after a week, really more like myself, uh, energy wise, um, and my taste and, and scent came back after three weeks of uh, of testing negative. Mm -hmm. And so, did you uh, you you continued with the program or some some form of uh, of more of an alkal alkalarian, uh a diet uh, with green yeah, more of a hybrid type of thing i i want i was trying to uh integrate more solid food um th and then just no food really uh more um, protein uh, vegetables and stuff um we'll also drink uh, the rest of the juices so it was sort of a hybrid uh lens for after let's see after day 14, I was negative three times. I was like that for the next month. Okay. Um, and then now, I mean, I've kind of, um, since like mid-September, uh, kind of uh, living relatively normally, uh, relatively normal uh, after the diag after getting rid of it. And now I'm just, um, you know, living as, a, as every other 24 year old, young adult would okay so so your energy's your your energy's back and yeah. uh yeah i will say that the juices did did uh kick start uh the recovery a lot quicker okay. it was a lot i've 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 heard some people who had symptoms of covid and um some personal friends of mine and, and they i mean yeah of course i got rid of it but it took them a lot longer to get rid of it and it was a lot more painful the ones that were symptomatic mm -hmm. um they did was really just isolate and you know live or live normally by eating regularly and uh, i guess drinking more water but um no they, they they didn't mention any sort of like juice cleanse or sort of recovery process okay so lillian as a mother uh what what were you doing to support your son through this uh, process well uh I wanted to see him. So uh, I, I immediately thought, what is a good way to go see him? And so I decided to bring him the juices on a daily basis mm -hmm. uh, for about, it was five or six days, I think. It was six, about six days. Yeah. And I would deliver him uh, nine juices a day. And it included about seven uh, or eight juices, like, no, six juices that were mainly green juices mm -hmm. and there were three others that were turmeric tonic which is one of my favorites because it has turmeric ginger lemon cayenne and coconut water okay uh so to give him a little bit of you know uh something to look forward to you know not just drinking greens <laughs> because i know the greens is going to really help him a lot uh, and uh and so i would deliver it in a box and i deliver it right at his door and he would step out and i would wave at him and <laughs> we would talk you know from a distance so i i really wanted to see him i wanted to give him support moral support you know you're going to get through this and i know this is going to help you so yeah. um okay so it, plus uh, he was familiar with the cleansing because he used to work at uh, juice the juice place that we're referring to i see okay well uh, uh excuse me i'm sorry um uh, well in very 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 interesting do, um jeremy do you do you have any idea why maybe you ended up with these symptoms in august yeah is there any association there that you maybe connected uh, the dots yeah I, I get sick quite a bit um very easily like sometimes i just wake up with allergies or, or um sign issues uh, every now and then and uh, of course throughout the day they sort of go away and 
Um, we, we, know, we know that uh, COVID is uh, airborne right now, and uh, maybe uh, it, it could have been a day where I didn't uh, the right vitamin or, or, or drink enough water. And um, I work in the service industry, and uh, I may have come in contact with um, several guests who maybe mm -hmm. have, may have uh, asymptomatic, had no idea they had COVID, and yeah, um, a credit card or, or a, a utensil or something, and and didn't uh, take care of myself uh, w with uh, necessary precautions for hygiene and um, uh, you know, health safety and stuff. So I mean, yeah, before I before I contracted it um i wasn't doing any sort of juice cleansing i was um well i was actually eating the food that i where, where i worked at <laughs> so okay. uh and it was just you know wings and, and stuff i don't work there anymore it's, it's it's a wing place i used to work at. i don't work there anymore because of the of uh, the covet issue but um yeah it was sort of just like i wouldn't i was i wasn't taking care of myself i wasn't drinking the right water fluids and stuff and uh I kind of believe in the, in, the, in the sense of what what you put in your body determines how you feel and how you how how your health reacts. So you kind of you kind of proved that experiment out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if if you really take good care of yourself, uh, eat the right vitamins, drink uh, lots of water, and um, and uh, uh, drink uh, you know alkaline alkaline juices and and stuff like that, then um, yeah, of course you're gonna prove a positive result with um positivity energy mm -hmm. as well as health good and mine and mine yeah mine, yeah. yeah so any uh any final comments you'd like to make uh, uh jeremy i i guess i i don't want to say this is sort of a controversial thing i, I really don't think i think it's really it's, it's, it's true um this is not regarding to anybody who's got any sort of pre-existing condition because of course if you have, a, you have a weak immune system you have to work harder to make sure that you um weather through it in case you contract it and have symptoms i mean you know taking care of your body is, is the most important thing mm -hmm. when it comes i mean there there are a lot more that, other than COVID that um roam around our world and are not capable. you know they take a lot of treatment uh, and so with, of course, my mom, she survived breast cancer using your system of um, alkaline water and, and, and uh, green juices and stuff about 12 years ago. And, you know, she, she beat it, didn't, it didn't have to take the rest of her chemotherapy. Like, it's, it's, it, it really works. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying that people should be, it's like go towards your system all the way. It's just that taking care of your body is a general thing that people need to know about. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jeremy and uh, Lillian. Uh, can, any any final comments from you? Well, I'm very proud of Jeremy. To be honest, I'm proud that he uh, took my advice. You know, I I know that he has 100% trust in me, and sometimes I have not made you know the best advice to give him in different other situations. But I'm glad that he took my advice this time, uh, and uh, I do appreciate that uh, he's also being very supportive of being here with us today. Uh, and I think it's going to benefit him a lot. So. Great. Well, it's always always good to talk about things. Like, and uh, yeah. yeah, and and Jeremy, thank you for sh sharing your experience uh, sure. with uh, this. Uh, condition that's uh, going around the world i know that uh, uh it's 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 somewhat rare with younger people uh so i was very curious about uh, your experience and and how you handled it especially because of your mother and what she went through 12 years ago in reversing also uh, a very serious health condition and, and maybe at some other time we we can talk about that but i'd like to Thank you for taking your time this morning and uh, want to wish you the best. And, and I'm happy that you've, you've come to the, the, the conclusion that, uh, uh, that what you eat does matter, what you drink does matter. And, and I, I think we're all in agreement with that. So uh, uh, prevention, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. So prevention is is the cure and if you can manage and maintain the alkaline design of your body 
this can be very beneficial uh, for preventing as well as easing a lot of the symptoms. And Jeremy, in your case, uh, it's quite evident uh, uh, from your personal experience that this is exactly what happened. So once again, thank you uh, for taking the time and, and stepping up and, uh, and t nice to s meet both of you uh, uh, in person and, and to talk to you. So have, have a wonderful day and, and God bless both. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All the, all thank you. God bless you too. Thank you. Bye-bye.